Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to a royal expert, Kate Middleton would have been very aware that her cancer message would encourage and inspire people and contribute to the saving of lives. Last week, the Princess of Wales bravely shared her health fight with the world in a heartfelt video, assuring everyone that she will be oak. Dickie and Victoria Arbiter, royal experts, also discuss how King Charles and the Duchess of York have contributed to raising awareness of significant issues. She talked of her huge shock at the cancer diagnosis while perched on a seat amid daffodils at Windsor Castle. She also said that she had started a course of preventative chemotherapy late in February. Charities have reported noticing a rise in website traffic after breaking the news, with an average of one visit every three seconds to the NHS Cancer Symptoms webpage in the hours that followed. Over the course of a day, there were five times as many visits to the cancer homepage as usual. Dickie and Victoria Arbiter, two royal experts, complimented Kate and other members of the royal family for raising awareness of significant health issues while speaking with Matt Wilkinson, the royal correspondent for The Sun's show Royal Exclusive. We saw the same with King Charles when he talked about going in to be treated for a prostate enlargement, Victoria relates. It's a disorder that a great deal of men suffer from, but they either don't make the time to see the doctor, or they are too ashamed, anxious, or afraid to do so. The growth was striking. The same happened with Sarah, Duchess of York, when she talked about her breast cancer last year, and again, when she addressed her skin cancer this year. Victoria continues by saying that spreading this kind of information would not only help the public connect with members of the royal family, but it will also encourage and inspire people. She goes on to say, Cancer is a disease clearly that does not discriminate, and if the king can be suffering from something, then it's okay for me to go and see the doctor because here he is talking about it in a public arena. That is one of the benefits then, and I believe the Princess of Wales would have been well aware of it. Victoria also draws attention to the subtle messages that might be found in Kate's speech to the country, in which she was notably surrounded by a sea of daffodils while seated on a bench. She notes that daffodils are not just the national flower of Wales, but also represent the Macmillan Cancer Trust, which some people may be aware of. She was sitting on a bench in front of daffodils when she delivered that message as well so as all sorts of symbolism in that message. A timeline of Kate's illness and recovery. January 16. Kate is scheduled for stomach surgery at the London Clinic. Jan 17. The princess had surgery, according to Kensington Palace January 18. William visits Kate on her bed. January 23. The princess stays in the hospital for a week. January 29. Kate departs the hospital. February 27. A surge of baseless conspiracy theories regarding Kate's health are sparked when Prince William abruptly leaves his position due to a personal matter. MARCA4. Princess and Mother Carol are seen driving about the Windsor estate. March 10. Royal shared a cute Mother's Day photo of herself and the children. However, admirers quickly pointed out problems in the picture, prompting major agencies to issue a kill notice. March 11. Kate acknowledges editing a photo, and she and William are pictured in a car March 16. At a farm store close to Windsor, royal enthusiasts spotted the Princess Ma. 17. Observers witness Kate watching her children participate in sports March 18. A two-day-old video of Kate and Wills was exclusively released by The Sun. March 22. Kate courageously discloses that she received a shocking cancer diagnosis in a moving video. Dickie Arbiter concurs, stating that if the royal family can discuss it and take action, that sends a very clear message to the global public as well as the British public. By the king doing that first of all, going for enlarged prostate, and then Buckingham Palace announcing that he has cancer, it was exactly the right thing to do, according to him. 
Like with the Princess of Wales, it conveys all the appropriate messages to people everywhere and to the general public. He continues, Kate got her priorities right by talking to the family and children first, and then telling everybody what is wrong, what sort of treatment she's getting, and that she's getting stronger and hopes to be back soon. It happened after Prince Philip referred to Meghan as the Dogu, in reference to the American divorcee who persuaded Edward VII to abdicate, the Duchess of Windsor. According to a royal biographer, he also advised the late queen to exercise cautiousness with Harry's future spouse. In her latest book, My Mother and I, Ingrid Seward disclosed that Prince Philip found Meghan's resemblance to the Duchess of Windsor to be uncanny. Harry and Meghan gave their shocking interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, during which Harry claimed that his father had financially cut him off. After that, Harry quickly returned to the UK to assist William in dedicating a statue to their mother, Princess Diana, on Kensington Palace grounds. However, rumours circulated that William refused to go to the memorial because of their ongoing disagreement. Before their grandmother the Queen passed away in 2022, rumours circulated that Kate was the peacemaker between the brothers. Harry said that his brother knocked him to the floor during a fight over Meghan last year. Harry said in his book Spare that William called Meghan difficult and rude after a dispute. William allegedly knocked me to the floor, ripped my necklace, and grabbed me by the collar, according to Harry. He claimed that after the 2019 fight in Nottingham Cottage, which is located on the grounds of Kensington Palace, where he was residing at the time, he was left with a noticeable injury to his back. Harry took a plane to be with Charles in January of this year, following the unexpected cancer diagnosis of the king. The next day, Harry took a plane back to the United States without seeing Wills. Olivia Henson, the head of an upscale food company, is soon to wed Hugh Grosvenor, the Duke of Westminster. The Duke's godfather, King Charles, is said to be still close with the brothers. In February, upon King Charles' announcement of his cancer diagnosis, William volunteered to take over public responsibilities in his place. Kate was shocked to learn that she would also need therapy shortly after. Since then, William has had to assume greater responsibility for looking after his wife, defending his children, and carrying out his royal duties. In an emotional video message last Friday, the Princess of Wales shared with the world the details of her health battle. The mother of three stated that after additional testing following her abdominal surgery in January, it came as a huge shock to her. However, an insider informed the New York Post that Harry and Meghan learned about Kate at the same time as the rest of the world. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a brief statement after Kate's announcement. The two of them stated, We wish health and healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. It happens after Kate was singled out by Harry and Meghan's Netflix cheerleader shortly after the news of her cancer diagnosis startled everyone. How health issues have also shaken the lives of other royals this year. A number of health issues have befallen members of the royal family in recent months. Here's a summary. January 16. Kate is scheduled for stomach surgery at the London Clinic. Jan 17. The king's benign and large prostate is to be treated, it is reported. William spends time by Kate's bedside on January 18. Jan 19. The queen and the king take a plane back from Scotland. Jan 21. Sarah, Duchess of York, is revealed to have skin cancer called malignant melanoma. Jan 23. Kate stays in the hospital for a week. Jan 26. The king is given a treatment admission to the London Clinic. The king gets released from the hospital on January 29. The following day, Kate departs. Jan 31. The king is getting on, doing his best, according to Queen Camilla. VBRUARY 5. Buckingham Palace declares that the king will not be performing public responsibilities due to cancer, which is not related to the prostate. FEB 18. The king shows up for a Sunday church service on the Sandringham grounds looking happy. AEB 23. 
As he opened a few of the 7,000 cards from well wishes, the king was captured on camera laughing and sobbing. February 27. Prince William abruptly leaves his position citing a personal matter, which sets off a chain of erroneous rumors regarding Kate's condition. Marsiege 4. Kate Middleton and her mother Carol are seen driving about the Windsor estate. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.